Hello, 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 everybody. We are continuing our wonderful adventure here in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. I'm so excited. Just love the opening. The opening is so simple, but at the same time just nails the feeling of a first Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. But either way, we shall continue. Team Shining. Name Neon. Location Shining Tea Base with only seven adventures and no helper. I wonder what helper means. Hmm. It's been like five billion years. I don't know. But here we are again. Down here. We have our apples. We have our water. What will the day bring? Because I don't think there's an immediate story thing. Neon, good morning. Let's do good again today. Um, hello? Huh? Who could that be? Oh, it's the Jomplov. Ah, this is where it's coming. Um, is Risky Team Shining here? That's right. Huh? Wait, aren't you? This is an anime. We have a flashback. Please help my friend. Please, I need help. Forget it. We're not about to work for that. But my friend needs a gust of wind. Please. So Shift Tree didn't go in. Of course, Shift Tree was a bastard after all, I guess. I remember now. Jumpluff, we saw you in Pokemon Square. We watched Shift Tree agreeing to take on your rescue job. Yes, but Shift Tree, he hasn't come back yet from the rescue mission. Oh, so maybe he did go and this thing's got in the way. Maybe he is an honorable bastard after all. Are you serious? Our friend Jumpluff got wedged between some rocks. We Jumpluff can go anywhere if we can catch a wind, but even though the skies are filled with thunderclouds, for some odd reason, the winds haven't blown. Not even a breeze? That is strange. Shift Tree's leafy fans can whip up powerful winds. We thought Shift Tree's wind would be able to dislodge our friend, but... But Shift Tree hasn't returned? It doesn't sound like all that challenging of a rescue mission. It is strange. Oh? That's the spirit, Neon. Your expression tells me you're ready. As you can tell by my incredibly tiny face. Okay, then. We'll go look for him. Really? Thank you. No problem. You can count on us. Let's go, Neon. Let's check mail. We have no mail. Let's see. I'm not sure what kind of Pokemon we'll run into. But I feel like... Mm, I feel like Terry. Do we want Terry or Sweetums? I think, like, Terry might come in handy. It appears a little tense. Love the music. But alright, trying to think. We should put our money away at the very least. And also our items, we have to check. Yeah, we really should put away a bunch of items, oh no! Okay, uh, anything interesting from you, you guys? Oh dear me, my friend, we've run out of space for my wares! Oh, understandable. <laughs> I'll go put away some of my stuff. Hello there. Hello there, dearie. What do you want me to store? Let's see. We want a decent amount of gravel rock. Take the... Alright. We don't need this much. Well, maybe sell the blowback orb for just an extra bit of cash. I would like to put all this away. But I'm ever so paranoid. I might want to take an extra reviver seed with me. Extra reviver seed. And you know what? An extra apple. And actually, let's 
stock up on our gravel rocks. Did we take an apple? Let me check my let me check my inventory. Alright, that's kind of bothersome. I can't combine them. Profound sadness. So I'll probably put the 19 away. Actually, that could be a thing. We'll put all the gravel rock away and then just take out what we want. And we'll grab another apple. Yeah. Okay. I would like to store the... the gravel rocks. That way they'll probably be stacked and then we'll be able to take out what we want. And we'll take out another apple as well. Ta-da! Kind of annoying that you can't take out... You have to select it individually. I'll take 30 gravel rocks with me. And then one more apple. Thank you, Ken Thank you Mrs. Kangaskhan. And I'll go ahead and sell... this blowback orb. Kind of funny that a stack of rocks is as expensive as a frickin' diddly dee. What is it? Is as expensive as a reviver seed. Let's see. You shall not be taking my reviver seeds. Is there anything that you have? Rest. Nope, nope, nope. Let's see. What places do you have today? My dear Wigglita friend. Peanut Swamp is the most expensive with kind of a low amount. Let's see. Shroomish. No one that we have found. I can probably buy two. Or one of the big ones. Magnetic Quarry, only three. Ravage Feel. Pool to two, Thunder Meadow. I guess I will take Thunder Meadow. And that way, I also don't go yet. Gotcha, let's do it. Wiggly tough, wiggly tough. Let's be friends, you time! Always have to do that. It is tradition. Is there, <laughs> is it gonna be another one of those? Oh, hey, Schnubble. Did you know that you get a reward if you complete a rescue job? Some Pokemon run rescue teams which they want the rewards. Uh, Sinister Woods and, uh... <laughs> I want to see Alakid, which means that we'd have to take an escort mission. So two escort missions. But it is a C rank. What would you give me? A Reviver Seed. But that would only be one job, whereas I have a three... Thunder Cave. So. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's talk to you people. I'm afraid Shift Tree's team is always about the money. They went out on that rescue team, a rescue mission, only because Alakazam told them to. I don't think they were very enthusiastic about it. We heard Shift Tree hasn't returned. I wonder, did Shift Tree maybe just run off? No, I think he got m annihilated. been a long time. So, you know what? I'm going to do a thing. I'm going to make a save state because I can do that. Imagine if I accidentally clicked load save state and that one save state from a billion years ago at the beginning of the game popped up and I'd be like, oh no, all my progress. I wonder if the game will tell me to go do the other thing. But I want to go... But yeah, I made a save state just in case there is ramifications for not going on the story mission right away. Because I want to do some side mission. Well, side mission. Ah, oh, Ratata wants to join. Sure thing, Ratata. You level 3 Ratata, you're either going to level up super fast or you're just going to fucking die. Your name will be Archie. 
just came to me. You are an Archie now. Come along, Archie. Also just realized we brought a bunch of stuff that we were planning for diddly D. We were planning for Evil Mountain. I want my team to be in the proper order. <laughs> we don't want our new buddy Archie to be annihilated. Yeah, this is just to both clear out our job list and to test out and see what happens... Ah, uh, screw it. Oh, it's because I... Yeah. I was like, why am I not throwing rocks? Because these rocks aren't set. But they are now. I got more gravel rock. And that's it. The super speed up feature is still eluding me ever so slightly. Whoop, whoop. Come get some. And I guess I'll just, uh, I'll kill you. Since, uh, we're not in danger of anything. Really, we're in danger more of running out of our belly than anything. But even then, not really. I would hang up my badge as a rescue team if I frickin' got starvation out here. <laughs> Just a big tunnel. Alright. I'll annihilate you. We gotta level up our boy. Archie. Although I don't think... <laughs> Is that another thing? Uh, I forget... I think Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky is the one that starts actually telling you what gender your, like, uh, characters are. So, technically, the only character that is gendered in this game, well, besides, you know, Mrs. Kangaskhan and other characters that are officially named, like, uh, when it comes to just their status, they are not until maybe explorers, but I am uncertain. Oop! I'll annihilate you. I just love the pixel art in this game. So I am kind of interested in seeing, like, how the Rescue Team DX looks like, how it appears and functions and such. How dare you? I shall tail whip and tackle. What is with this game right now? And these super low level Pokemon just being like, and I shall dodge your attack. <laughs> Absolutely insane. A destination floor has been reached. Oh, it's a seed. It's a blast seed. Blasted seed. A part of me wonders if I should just start selling those, because I don't think they do that much for me. See, Archie, aren't you happy that you joined us? As all your compatriots in this dungeon are annihilated before your very eyes. <laughs> wow, we are so strong now that we are now doing... <laughs> we're getting no damaged. Someone has stolen my sleep seed. But what about my insomnia? Do -do 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 -do. Hello there, Elekid. 
You have been rescued. The rescue team badge shown on Elekid. Elekid gained a magical power. Thank you. Please see me at the Plipper Post Office when you get out. I would like to continue. You have, <laughs> you have sealed your... Rock! Rock! When I say you've sealed your fate, your fate is bloody well sealed. I just love the look of this. This game. This game's so good. Getting dizzy from the hunger. Then I shall eat an apple. <laughs> Remember, you need to bring a snack for when you go to murder your enemies. Hello there, Purple Fire Kitty. We are playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. I decided I wanted to do more missions and see what happens, because even though this is one of my favorite games, it's been like five billion years since I've played it, and younger me wasn't that thorough on remembering mechanics and the, the various specifics of this game. So I'm gonna see what happens when a story co story mission comes along, and the game's like, hey, you should do the story mission. And I'm just like, but what if I want to do... What if I want to do rescue missions <laughs> that aren't story missions? Oh. <laughs> For a moment I was like, oh god, Pinsir. But then I remembered, oh yeah. <laughs> it's a good guy. Because he has a yellow circle that's hard to see underneath him. No, I would not like to leave the dungeon. I still have many a mission to do. I think like one mission, but... Mm. I get that so much. This game is a bop. It is a... The music in this game. One of my favorite soundtracks. Just one of my favorite games of all. Playing about the, the pixel art, the music. Just love to get into it again. It's, a, it's one of those games that you can kind of like chill out and play. For me, I lose track of time when I play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, because I just like, yeah, go through the dungeon. And it, because it kind of takes just enough focus to be like, okay, what do I need to look out for? Manage my belly. Manage this, manage that. Hello, Zigzagoon. You are now saved. Gain the magical power of teleportation. I think, yeah, that should be all the Thunderwave Cave. And really, I think our inventory is about to overflow, so let's get out of here. Side note, I don't know why, because I've been in call with uh, you before, but your voice doesn't sound like what I thought it would. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's the funny thing. Well, technically, it could also be that I'm, like, inflecting differently, because my voice does not stay, like, the same. My voice fluctuates in tone and, like, uh, what's the word? Tone? And I guess deepness. One previous viewer said that I sound like every accent except the place where I'm from. Alright, now let's see if, uh, didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. <laughs> Didn't we do good today? We completely ignored Jump Luff. <laughs> Jump Luff came to us and said, My friend is still missing and Shift Tree is missing now too. <laughs> Won't you please go... Well, technically they didn't even ask. It's just kind of Shane was like, Yeah, let's go do it. Good morning. We finally get mail because a story thing hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Check the mail. Accepting rescue jobs. 
If you want to go on a rescue job listed on the bulletin board at the Polipper Post Office, or one that's delivered to your mailbox, you first need to accept the job, then choose Take Job. Only then will you be able to handle that job. Try to do accepted jobs quickly! Pokemon Rescue Organization. Getting hungry. Eat something when you get hungry. Now that's just basic advice. While you're exploring a dungeon, you will get progressively hungry. Your belly goes down. If you become famished, you will eventually lose HP and even faint. That's why you should eat something to fill your belly. You can always buy food at the Kesslyon shop. Come on, rescue team organization, you're supposed to tell us when you are sponsored by a store. Wow, I honestly think I have a very stereotypical American accent and I don't sound like when I'm specifically from in the US. For me, for a lot of the time, I kind of slip into a British accent sometimes. Like, I don't know, my accent goes all over the place. Otherwise, I don't know what kind of accent I am. Hello, Mrs. Kangaskhan, I'm here to store my... My bounty. Let's see, uh, I will keep three apples. It rearranged my orange berries, so we're gonna keep two orange berries. And, uh, let's see, all of these, but let's see. Two Reviver Seeds, yep, yep. Thank you, Mrs. Kangaskhan. Uh, no, I don't think so. What do you have to sell, Kesslyon Purple? Just a bunch of orbs, and I don't care about orbs. I do not care about Orb 3D. Let's see, what kind of places do you still have to sell, and what do I want to buy? I probably could take out money from the Felicity Bank and get all three of these. But I might want to grab uh, one... Uh, it's like I don't know. Maybe Mount Discipline? Since it has like the most and we've run into three from there. I see the British accent you sound like what I imagine Lex Luthor to sound like. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Ah, oh, what is the- what is the line? My brain... Do you know what happens when you cross Lex Luthor? The same thing that's going to happen to Superman! I don't think that's gonna be enough to buy it. But let's see, we might be able to grab one or two things. Oh, that, I gave him my money, but nope. Eh, uh, you can keep it and then I'll buy Mount Diddly D. Once I get back from another thing. God dang it, now there's three. Except... You want me to escort you all the way to level 12 of the Sinister Woods? Ah! Uh, are you gonna... Are you gonna at least gonna pay well? 300 pokey. Yeah, that's actually pretty decent. 200 pokey. Oh, it is a D rank. A D rank for fucking Sinister Forests! Gravel Rock Plus. I'm at my limit. I uh, well, Let's see. Now I just have one tiny woods that I haven't done in forever and uh, Sinister Woods. Bup, 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 bup. Now the answer is, do I want to do the Sinister Woods now or do I want to go and do story? Eh, yeah, screw it. Let's go do in story. Now the question is, do we want to... I don't know how big the place where Jump Bluff and Shift Tree supposedly are. Three apples, two reviver seeds, and a bunch of my rocks, and two orange berries. That should go ahead get us through. Let's see. Hello, Jump Bluff. You've come to stake us out. My friend is stuck in a place called Silent Chasm. I hate to burden you, but you're our only hope. Please, e Neon the Eevee. You are our only hope. I love the fact that you're Eevee. Yep. I I spent like 15 minutes gaming the frickin' uh, quiz to get Eevee. Especially mean because <laughs> if I played it legitimately and be like, oh yes, I am boy, I would not be able to do it because Eevee is locked behind girl naive personality type. The game is mean. But luckily, 
No, especially evil because it did not want to give the naive personality points at all. It's like, and especially funny with the one of the silliest questions. Grab one of your use your right hand to grab one of your left hand's fingers. Which finger did you grab? That'll determine your personality. No naive there. Stole away by Evie. It took me like 15 minutes to get it. And it's hilarious because I'm not even, I wasn't even gaming the quiz to get like a super powerful team. I just wanted to play Eevee. <laughs> wow, this cliff is steep. Your friend Jumpluff is lost deep in this canyon? Yes, I'm sorry to ask, but please help. It'll be fine. Let's go, Neon. Wait. Yes, what is it? There's something I forgot to mention. This canyon is known as the Silent Chasm because it's rumored that an amazing monster sleeps here. M monster Yes, but uh, it's only folklore. It's only it's also true that Shiftry hasn't returned. I, I just thought I should let you know. Ow, ow, ow! My stomach! It hurts! Oh? What's wrong? It's my stomach! It's suddenly cramped up! Ow, ow! I think my breakfast was spoiled or something. Say, Neon, you're feeling sick too, aren't you? Neon, your stomach hurts too, doesn't it? Huh? I'm perfectly fine. Huh? What's the matter, Neon? I need you to back me up! If you're my partner, you need to read my cues better! Well, why this sudden outburst, Shane? Don't you have a stomach ache? Huh? Oh, yes. Ow, ow, ow. I guess the cramping settled down. <laughs> so, anyway, you said there may be a monster. What is it like? Why is it that Eevee is shown as spunky and strong in the anime? Eh. The anime is just like, this is the kind of Eevee that we want. I'm sorry, Pokemon fans, but this is the ideal Eevee specimen. I don't know very much at all. It is an old folk tale. I wouldn't know if it existed or not. Okay. Well, it can't be helped. Let's just hope that monster doesn't exist. My friend Jumpluff should be around basement 10. Please take care. Okay. Gotcha. Let's get going, Neon. Well, at least it's apparently a easier trek than the Sinister Forest, which is frickin' 12 levels! Where? Hello, Farfetch'd. Oh, aha, you missed. I forgot, now the Pokemon are gonna be strong. Shane, it might be nice if you would, uh, quick attack? If that's the idea, why doesn't the games allow it? No one knows. I'm being sand attacked to death. Now I need to find a Wonder Tile. Wonder Tile. Wonder Tile, hell yeah. Sand in your eyes? Walk onto a wonder tile. Why is it here? No one knows. Honestly, it might be because humans existed at one point in this world. So that could be it. Quit hitting Shane! He is a good boy! I um, maybe I should have brought an elixir. I probably should have brought an elixir. Well, that's not good at all. These far-fetched are frickin' monstrous. Why did you attack that one? Shane! You fool! Well, at least you killed it. But still, you awaken the sleeping. Well, that's not nice at all. Rock. Oh, now it's... Can't have that. <laughs> Remember to stay hydrated. One of the main reasons that I have <laughs> stay hydrated as a little redeem your points thing is purely because I often forget to actually stay hydrated. All right, which type likes this one? Me. I am the normal. Give. I learned efficiency expert. And what is that actually? Uh, check IQ. Efficiency expert. When battling several foes, the Pokemon will first target Pokemon with lowest HP. So yeah, it's basically just... Diddly D. Spe 
specialty thing, will stop using link moves that are on the verge of delinking. It also stops using moves of no PP left. There. I had canon that Ninetales sent the humans to the mainline universe so that Pokemon in this world could have a break. That's true. <laughs> I could see that. Well, uh, we're just gonna go back. Yep. Done. Smack. Well, good thing I brought two orange berries and three apples, because we're probably gonna... We're gonna freaking need it! I gotta keep a... Uh, why? Oh, uh, yeah, you used a quick attack. Fear. Fear. Luckily, it's only ten levels! I probably should have uh, done more grinding. What moves do I have? I have Helping Hand and Sand Attack. Guess I'll use a sand attack. Do not lick Shane! He is my salad! Fiendish Teddy Arsa. Whoop, and Brock. The Pokemon in this place are coming fast and coming hard. Hey, an orange berry. That'll be nice. And an apple! Shit. Rude. Rock. Rock. <laughs> Just throw rocks. It's the only way to live. You don't want to know where my brain went with what you said. And the thing is, I'm saying so much. It was probably the salad thing, wasn't it? Probably the salad thing. Well, you know how people ship the main character and the partner Pokemon most of the time in these games? Be gone, far-fetched. I probably should have sand attacked you. Do not peck the Eevee. Another apple. If only apples healed. But I do feel the barely good. But I love the music in this game. It's just so well done. It's nice and versatile. And it, I like the, it's an odd thing to point out, but I also really like the scrolling. Darn you, bug man. Darn you, accuracy. Sometimes you just have to get into A battles. <laughs> I don't get why they didn't give the food items extra effects. Well, there is the big apple. And it was on that day that a giant Eevee came out of the sky and ate New York. <laughs> it just said, apple, apple, yum, yum. Nobody knows what it means. Please don't poison me. Wait a minute, you can't even poison me. Because I have the Pegasus Bastard. How dare you frickin' shoot through walls! It is a known fact that corners are perfect protection. Bastard Weedle. Be gone, Teddy Ursa. I rock, walk away. Rock the Teddy Ursa. You shall not lick me or my salad. Ah, shit. Uh, eh, I don't like your absorb. I'm gonna smack you. It works in every first Pokemon... Uh, let's see. It works in every first-person uh, shooter. And now, once again, what did I say to prompt that? Because that's the one thing. I say a lot of things, and my brain just does not retain information. I say a thing, and then it's gone. Fight. I said fight me. You are very rude! I'm gonna throw a rock at you. Note to self, when they have that, they are very mean. The corners are perfect protection. Ah! That is a first-person shooter tenant. How dare you. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. Thank you.
One of these days, one of these Pokemon will want to join my team. Why is it that... W <laughs> I fought a Rattata, and it's like, I immediately... Uh, that could be a, a catch-up mechanic. Come to think of it, because we went to Thunder Wave Cave, and we were, like, one-shotting things with our A move, so... It's entirely possible that the game has a programmed-in thing where the more powerful you are, the more likely that a lower-level Pokémon will just want to join you on principle. <laughs> Do you want a lemon? I'm actually unsure if I'm a fan of lemons. I've never actually... I don't think I've had a raw lemon. I've had lemonade. Not in forever, but... Eh. I don't think I've actually had lemons. On their own. There's a thing to think about. How dare you absorb my soul? I'm gonna smack you. Hey Shane, would be nice if you could quick attack. <laughs> They're good. I'm currently eating lemon heads. Ah. Don't think I've ever had a lemon head. Now you're in a terrible position, Bugman, Yanma. Well, I could get out of here, Bug. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. Damn you. I'm not scared of no sweet scent rock. I am scared of the fact that you keep dodging rocks from around the corner. But at least I one-shot you. And that's what matters. They're so good, they're little lemon sour candies. Well, this sure is nice. <laughs> I just spawned in on Hound Dower Gang. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Have to use my moves or else my boy's gonna die. That was a terrifying encounter. Hound hours are just pouring out of the walls, and this is the water area. Make it make sense. Getting dizzy from the hunger. I shall eat an apple. Be berries do not fill the belly, but apple. <gasps> a scarf? Is that a scarf? What is that? He's a thing. He's a very important thing. Yes, just don't use Absorb. Shane, it would be nice if you would come to help join me in this war. I keep forgetting that I kind of need to micromanage your abilities. Let's see. Special Band. What be the Special Band? Information. Hold item that boosts the Pokemon's special attack. You can have it, because you're the only one with a special attack. I think Absorb is a special attack. I'm actually kind of dumb when it comes to Pokemon. I really should have brought better moves. Oh no. It's not very effective, but it still did lots of damage. I'm going to throw a rock. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're heading for the exit. We need to head for the exit. Preserve our moves. Because the world is dangerous. <laughs> Scary face. So I guess that's just to make sure I don't run away. You get back here! Stop running away from me! I do better at the mainline games than the dungeon ones. Uh, it's been five billion years since I've actually played a Mystery Dungeon game. So I'm not sure if my skill in a Mystery Dungeon game is superior in one way or another. What I do know is that I did manage to beat Champion Red 
in Pokemon Crystal with an underleveled team, so... That has to mean something. Maybe. It is possible that I am decent. Ah. Just... M room wide moves. <laughs> room wide moves. For your pleasure. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. And another rock. God damn you. Quick attack. I said quick attack, Shane. Shane! Final run back. <laughs> Help me, Shane. No, I'm not to engage the enemy. <laughs> and I'm on the opposite. I ended up overleveling to beat the third gym in the Pokemon Diamond remake. I'm not sure how difficult Pokemon, like, uh, Diamond and its remake is. So I cannot comment. But hey, overleveling can be fun. Because I think this level has a boss fight. Then at the same, maybe we should have brought Terry. Hello, B drill. Yeah, honestly, probably should have brought Terry or Magnemite. He would have helped. I was trying to get a specific type of Pokemon just so it happened. Ah. Oh, Jesus, help! Jesus. Rock. Nightmare. Nightmare. Hey, and he leveled up too. I'm gonna... Uh, I'll wait and take it very slowly. Orange gummy. Uh, dang it. Now, I'm go now I kind of want to hunt down. Dang it, I died. But I had to revive. <laughs> I overestimated my killing potential. That is the first time that I died so far. I, maybe I should really rearrange your AI to actually attack the enemy. But then he'd hunt down every enemy to the end of the earth. And that would be problematic. How many rocks do I have? I have 20, 26 rocks. I have rocks to spare. Get rocked. <gasps> it's the gummy. Who do we want to... What type likes orange gummies? Information. Fighting type. I don't think we have fighting types. I guess I could store it until we get a fighting type. Maybe. And this is why I think... Do I... Did I bring an extra revive? I probably should have brought three revives. Fear is taking hold. Shit. Rock. Rock. Oh. That's not good at all. We had a trepinch at least. Rock. Why fight when you can just throw rock? On to level 10. I have come to realize... Uh, I have come to reali the realization that Twitch doesn't have my pride flag as an emote. That is... Huh. I never really... Funnily enough, I never really look at the emotes on Twitch. So I wouldn't be able to comment. Hopefully they add it some time for you. Isn't this the place where Jim Pluff's friend is supposed to be? Oh, hey! We came for you. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine, but... Great, your friend is waiting for you. Shift tree is in the back. Huh? Shift tree? Let's go. Listen, are you okay? Snap out of it. Uh, forget about me. Get away from here! Get... Get away? What's going on? Why did it turn pitch black? 
It's coming! Move aside, you! How dare you disturb my sleep! I have no mercy for meddlers, and that includes you! Early on in our bloody... Bloody... What's the word? Not reputation. Uh, career! We're gonna freaking have to fight a legendary. I am Zapdos, the embodiment of lightning! If you wish to save Shiftry- Oh good, it's not, it's not a boss fight! I thought it was gonna be a boss fight, but it's not a boss fight yet. If you wish to save Shiftry, then scale Mount Thunder! Gyaow! Zapdos! So that's the legendary monster! Yay! They give us warning! I'm so happy that Shiftry is dead. Yay! Saved! I'm so happy! But even though I'm saved, Shiftry is in trouble. Please tell us exactly what happened. Yes, Shiftry whipped up winds with his fins and released me from between the rocks. But those winds tore a thundercloud in two, and that was when the monster appeared in the sky. That monster? It said it was Zapdos. Did you say Zapdos? Alakazam! Zapdos. It's one of the legendary bird Pokemon. I heard it had been sleeping for a long time. So Shiftry woke it up? No. Shiftry's winds were only the trigger. To begin with, the absence of winds there was unnatural. It must have been caused by the rash of natural disasters late recently. Zapdos is enraged from having been woken from its sleep. Shiftry must be saved. But Zapdos won't be easy. Its electric attacks are wicked nasty. I know that. We will need to be cautious. We'll go too. We'll go help Shiftry. What? This is dangerous. Zapdos is powerful. It will be too much for your skill level. Hey, we're not that weak. Besides, Zapdos doesn't scare us, right, Neon? <laughs> ow, 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 my stomach. Nope, yep, I'm not scared. Have, either you, have you ever been hit with an electric blast? It'll leave you stunned and shaking. No problem. Zapdos is wicked tough, and might gobble you up for a snack. Can you face that? I'm not scared. We're a rescue team, too. We want to help Shift Tree. Fine. I see that you have courage. Yes! Our two teams should make our way separately through Mount Thunder. We'll go when we have geared up for battle. Knowing how strong our opponent is, we have no choice but to be cautious. You should make way for Mount Thunder only when you are fully prepared. Our objective is to rescue Shiftry. Let us find success! Yes! I'm getting excited for this! Neon, let's do our best. Pose! Would you... All that time I was like, oh no, we're gonna have a boss battle. Oh no, we're gonna have a boss battle. But nope, it was a psych. Boss battle comes later. I guess it's kind of nice because... Initially, they didn't tell you that there was a monster until you actually started the mission. Apples. Water. Start of a good day. Good morning, Neon. Did you sleep well? Okay. We should be heading to Mount Thunder to do Shift Tree's rescue, right? But Alakazam said that we should be properly prepared before we try. What should we do? We can go to Mount Thunder right now or later. It's up to you. But anyways, let's do our best like always. Any new mail? No mail. And I don't think we got any money. Oh, I think uh, I forgot to put away my money from last time. I could have lost all my money. Reflect, but we don't want to buy that. Why are TMs as expensive as rescue areas? He's mad. Hello there. Welcome to Kangaskhan Storage. What do you want to store? Let's see. Plain seed? What's a plain seed? A food the item that has no special effect. It does slightly fill the Pokemon's belly. So that's basically if you have no apples. Apple. We want at least three apples. We're gonna take uh, uh, two orange berries. 
And yeah, we'll put away the orange gummy for now. And then I'm gonna take out uh, some reviver seeds. Well, let's see, how many revivers do I have? Currently, one reviver seed. I'm gonna take two, because I'm afraid. Is the stomach trick a way to get out of the mission if you need to shift your team because you think there's a boss fight? Maybe, but I always went, what are you doing, Shane? There is no, I, there is no, I don't have a stomach pain. What's on about you? So, maybe if you do the stomach thing, Jump Pluff will be like, okay, we'll come back later. But I've never done that. And uh, then the, ow, 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 my stomach part with Alakazam, I don't know what that would do. I'm glad to see you're back safe. Thank you, but Shiftree is in trouble now. Shiftree came and rescued me. I hope he's safe. Is that right? Shiftree was taken away to Mount Thunder? I wonder what that place is like. It sounds rather horrible. Oh, me? I couldn't possibly go rescue him. Shiftree was abducted? That's shocking news. Friends are my treasures. Let's see, what area would I want to buy? Seems to be the same amount. Once again, I probably could have... Uh, can either try and do a few small ones or get Mount Discipline. I think I'm going to grab Mount Discipline because it's one of the bigger ones. I would like to take out some money. Let's see. I think I only need 300-ish. Probably not, my math is bad. Yeah, my bath, my bath, my math is bad. Unless it was 100, I don't know. I'll take 200 just to be safe. My math is terrible. Hey, Wiggly Tough, I want to buy a mountain. Mount Discipline. Mount Discipline? That'll be a 1,200 pokey. Gotcha. Let's do it. Wiggly Tough, Wiggly Tough, uh, let's be friends. Yoom ta! Congratulations. Now I can force people to be my friends on Mount Discipline. I want to get enlightened in the middle of nowhere. Got three. Oh, great. Now we have Silent Chasm missions. Want to see... I don't know. That would give me a max elixir, but it's only one mission. So yeah, Sinister Woods... And then a bunch of silent chasms. A heal seed. Silver gummy plus. And a reviver seed. So, escort mission, and I need to bring a hurl orb. I really need to just start stocking up on orbs that I find. Well, don't I? I shall accept the silent chasms. Let's see, do I want to do... I think I'll do the Sinister Woods first, because even though it's longer, it doesn't scare me as much. And plus I get more Gravel Rock, and Gravel Rock is nice. And plus it gives me a chance to find a Hurl Orb. At least it's, uh, the game's also nice to tell you, hey, you don't have to just jump straight into story missions. You might get crushed. <laughs> I can play with Metapod again. Thank you. Neon and Shane, thank you. Hello, Wishcash. It's good to see the youngsters back. I heard you saved them. Getting through the dungeon must have been very taxing on you. I'm also grateful for what you've done. Thank you. Incidentally, I have heard of a particularly challenging dungeon somewhere in our world. It starts your level at one clears all your gained stats, and empties your toolbox at the start. In other words, it forces one to enter in a completely clean state. It has never been conquered by any rescue team. It has earned its title as the Ultimate Dungeon. Perhaps your team will take on that challenge one day. Ho ho ho. That sounds like a super challenge, but uh, I think I'm gonna go try the dojo. This is the matter. 
Makuhita Dojo. I would like to go train. I will... Ah, there's one for every. Let's try the water maze. Your decision stands. Let the training begin. I don't think I've ever done this. The dojo before. Hello. You are very rude. Also rude. Okay, maybe I need to set Shane to actually go after the enemies. <laughs> Just in case. I don't think, uh... Wow, that's a long-range move. Let's see. So this does seem like a decent kind of starting diddly dee. Oop. I shall smack you away. Smack you. Polywag. Be gone from here. This world is not for you. And it doesn't seem like there are any items on the floor, so it really is just seems to be a get to the exit kind of thing. Rock. The music's very interesting. It reminds me of a thing, but I'm not sure what. It hits my memory, but I'm not sure of what kind. Oh. Oh yeah, he went he goes after enemies now. My bad. I told him to go after enemies. I'll take care of this one. You take care of that one. Unless you get put to sleep. It's a water type, so it shouldn't be that crazy. Okay, all of them are protecting this exit. Polywag Defense Force, attack! They're trying to escape. And we can't have that. I'll have to reset his AI to just f defeat the opposing team to win. Be careful, your opponents are tough. Rock. I'll go ahead and annihilate you. Darn it. Of course the super effective move misses. And it can heal polywags with bubble? Okay, that's an interesting application. And hypnosis is functioning as ever. Save me, Shane! I put your AI to go after the enemy! Oh dear god, I was close. I'm gonna eat an orange berry. I'm not risking my reviver seeds. I have a billion... I have a billion orange berries. I can stomach that. Ah, you have succeeded in your training. You've shown your worth. Without a doubt, you have grown more powerful from your training. May this success drive you to train even harder. And then if you defeat them all, you get a reward. I wonder if they, like, level up with you or what. I don't know. I've never did the... I never did the dojo before, so I don't know its specifics. Thank you, Mrs. Kangaskhan. Oh yeah, let's take a look at our job list. We are going to Sinister Woods. Any mail today? There is no mail today. And uh, because Sinister Woods was kind of... Ah! I'm gonna bring Terry. Yo, Terry. Did it just say that it had a grin? Terry doesn't have grins, he's a giant eye. He's a giant eyeball. Eyeballs can't grin, there is no mouth. To the Sinister Woods for training and profit. Your client, Scyther, joined your rescue team. And we're going to have to guard him all the bloody way. And we can't let him faint or else it'll look bad on our resume. Get out of here, Oddish. 
Ah. <laughs> you are not much help, are you, Mr. Scytherman? But he'll try to contribute. He'll try. I guess that's what matters. Quit throwing rocks at my people! Oop. A white gummy. Is that the normal one, or...? Because, uh... Normal type. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna increase my IQ. If only it was that easy. Eat the right foods? Brain food! You ever just run full tilt into a wall? And now that we don't have to worry about team... What is with my... 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 Tackles not... Hitting. Hit this tackle me. Good. Further up the Sinistar Woods. You have made a grave mistake, small oddish. We got a blast seed. One of these days I probably should just go and sell all my blast seeds. Because I have way too many blast seeds. Beat up the sun, Flora. Bye bye, sunflower. Get out of here. Man, that's just a circle. Hello, pseudo widow. Haha, <laughs> you threw a rock when you shouldn't have. Why would you do it again? It's doing one, one damage, my dude. Not very effective. Does 60 points of damage anyway. I am the superior Pokemon. Money on the floor. Who left it here? Probably a dead person. Ooh, maybe that's a Hurl Orb that I can use for my Silent Chasm Scary Adventures. Level up for Terry! Yay! Magnemite leveled up. Okay, HP up went, by, went up by five. Cool. Luminous Orb, so... Would you... Do, you... do you just hate not being able to see in the dark? That's what I assume it is. Also, the downside, if I don't see a enemy when my boy does, my boy just goes charging at them. When it comes to boss fights, I'll have to modify his uh, tactics. And that's only if I remember to. I really do need those IQ increasing gummies because my IQ quite low here. Hello, Sintrit. You can't really join us because we have a full party here. Granted, I want a full party because we need to protect the client. Because they're level one and they're like, I want to go to this dangerous level. Because you know, that's what smart people do. I want to go to the danger zone. I think that Shane can handle himself. He's just going up against a cocoon. What's the worst that can happen? It's only doing one damage to him. Except the fact that it just might take forever. Never mind, he killed it. Yay. Just gotta gather money so we can buy more real estate. And Shane went to fight and kill and murder now. God damn it, Shane. Stop running away! Just because you see an enemy to murder! I wish I could, like, control, like, the specific radius around him that we, he would go into hunt mode. If enemy within number of blocks, hunt down and kill. Terminate. Shane, 
the Trico Terminator. No, he does not terminate Tricos. He is a Trico that terminates. Moving on down. Every new level that we get introduced to, it's always uh, scary. <laughs> Mainly because you run into new enemies and they might be evilly tough. For God's sake, what was it that killed me? I forget what killed me back in... You're not good. You're not escaping. I forget what the Pokemon was that absolutely annihilated me and caused my first first revive. And now I'll forever hold on to an extra revive seed out of fear. I don't know how a cocoon can attack, but it does. It's like, yes, this development pod for a. <laughs> For stages of development, it is there to protect this young specimen. And then the young specimen is, I'm going to throw my protective shell at my enemy. You ever just see a crib rocket across the room to an attack an invader? That's basically what's going on here. It ain't a hurl orb, it's a warp orb. My disappointment is immeasurable. <sighs> Max Elixir. I, I, I kind of want that Max Elixir though. We might have to go a hunt. A hunt for a Sintrit. There you are, Sentret. Give me the elixir! <laughs> That's also something that I'm going to have to bring with me on my journey to Thunder Mountain so that I can use my attacks going up the mountain and then max elixir when we're at the final level. Whoop! Beat down the Sindrit. Kind of disappointing that it doesn't seem like you can recruit Pokemon if you don't have position in your current team. Uh, but what can you do? I mean, you're kind of expected to go Gold Gummy. You're kind of expected to go and play through these scenarios again and again and again and again and again. So I guess it's like not that bad. Psychic type. We can give it to Alakazam as a gift. Then he'll have an IQ of 5,001. How dare you bitch slap me from the dark. Your face is happy. And then I turn that smile upside down into one of pain. One of pain. One of pain. I guess I'll throw the Rostberry. Actually, Blast Seed. We have a billion Blast Seeds. We don't need you! Orbs? Those are, at the very least, nice to have if we need to give them to a client. Oh, hey. A gummy. Woot. Kill. Kill the cocoon. Kill the crib of the bugs. Do we have another Blast Seed we can throw? No, but there is a Rost Seed. Well, Rost Seed. Rost... Berry. Be gone, Rost Berry. We do not need you. Gummies are important. Gummies are... Hello, Shroomish. You will die. Time to fight another crib. I also love that it's kind of the graphics in this game. They're isometric. So you can, like, see Pokemon from so many different angles. A destination floor. Oh, yeah. We're in here for a job. Multiple jobs. We must find the client. 
You know, before they get beaten to death. Why are they even here? Is it one of those people that want an Orin Berry? In which they could just buy it from the Kesleon bros? But they're like, no. I would have laughed if the Scyther leveled up. Okay, Terry is just becoming our tank. God, that, that level, that part of the story is going to be so much painful. Now that we're not... <laughs> uh... I'll definitely have to bring Terry along to fight Zapdos, if only just because he's a tank. He can mitigate some damage. I can tell one of my allies to get away. We have a bunch of apples. What's this one? Another orb. Cherry berry. Be gone. You are... N is a... Ch what is a cherry, then? Is a cherry a berry? Like, you know, cherry on top. What is a cherry? A fruit? But it has seeds. So yeah, what is the classification of fruit again? Is fruit like it has seeds within itself? And then vegetables are... I don't know. The, the whole thing is weird. Grow on a vine. Has seeds. Weirdness. Wah! Wah! You used to scare me because you're just big, but now you're dead. And I laugh. Oh, I thought you were an enemy, but then I walked through you. I save you, Sunflora. Take this opportunity to be inspired and join us in adventures somewhere else in the world. Because, you know, the Mystery Dungeon universe is interconnected. Uh, let me look at my items. I could go back and grab that apple. I'm gonna go back and grab that apple. It's always nice to have a um, apple. Yeah, we can spare the time to kill a shroomish. I misstepped. I need to use the shoulder buttons. Level eight. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Kill the Scyther. Because it's undoubtedly more scary than our our client here. You ever just hire people to escort you through a forest and then you run into an exact clone of yourself and your guides are like, yeah, that's that that clone of you is probably more tough than you. You a bitch. Your clone your clone scares us more than you do. I love the music. It has like a nice uh, kind of... What's the word? I guess twang? It has a nice like uh, synthesized twang to it. I like it. I leveled up! Woohoo! Wahoo! And Shane leveled up. We are synchronized. We just know each other so well. So well that we have the same health. Destination floor reached. That growl must have reverb. Stop. <laughs> it just growl, growl. To our ally. Hey, Minen. We're here to save you. Thank you. Please see me at the post office later. I wonder if, like, I know that there's, like, don't question it, it's just, uh, what's the, what's the word? Like, not word, but the lyrics. And I forget the lyrics to Mystery Science Theater uh, 3000. And other science facts? You should just tell yourself it's just a show. I should really just relax. So yeah, like, don't question that they have magical teleporter badges, like, 
Goodbye, Apple. <laughs> it's like that episode, Goodbye Pikachu, but for an apple. Goodbye, Apple. Apple. <laughs> when you go to sell your Apple stocks. Good up. Goodbye, Apple. Ooh, a hoot hoot. We haven't seen you before. Too bad you can't join us. <laughs> ah, hello, Mario LC, and thank you for the raid of four people. We are playing more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Going through dungeons, leveling up, because frickin' Zapdos came in just to be an asshole. And now Wooper is spitting at Shane. He's spitting my salad! That's just rude. Great, now I forget, is this a destination floor or not? My memory is shot! My memory! It is terrible! The memory on a TI-82 calculator is probably better than me. And now we're beating up a tree. And also, stay hydrated. Crap. And I'm running out of power points for my moves. Help me! I'm being beaten up by a tree! Have you ever been beaten up by a tree? If so, sad. But yeah, I don't think this is a little d floor, a destination floor. Nobody to save, but there is a slack off to kill, so that's something. <laughs> no, but at least there's Beaver. Pull the stairs. Why is there stairs? Because there are stairs. Do not question the stairs, but do question the palm tree. Kill the palm tree. It's not very effective, it just did a shitload of damage. Kill! You ever just see a team of animals go into a forest to beat up other animals? It's like Animal Rocky. I've never watched a Rocky movie. Ah, there goes Shane, murdering again. You will not pump up, my friend! I'm sure that my rock did something. <laughs> you ever see a quadrupedal animal throw a rock with pinpoint accuracy? That would be something. <laughs> David and Goliath, recreated by pound puppies. <laughs> Oh boy, a blast sheed. That thing that I never use. In fact, since I never use it. Blast seed. In fact, oh, I forgot that you're holding on to a vet. Let's see. Go to team Shane. Hmm. Wish I could just like, hey, eat this, because I think if I hit eat, or can I? Eh, screw it. It is a grass gummy though. Give to you, and then I'll just give you back, and then another time we can test things out. Eat the grass gummy. Become intelligent. Don't question it, it's magic. The power of gummy. And now we go down here, gather this item, because it's money. And we need all the money in the world. So that we can commission Pokemon to build a gun. There has to be a Pokemon that wields a gun at this point. It's been going on for so long, it just has to be there. The gun Pokemon. How does a bird growl? Nobody knows. Somebody probably knows. 
but I don't, so nobody knows. I am the center of the universe, because I am just that dense. We shall go. Ah, a reviver seat. Neat. I should probably activate your... your efficiency expert so you don't you do that in the future. Shan. Check IQ. Efficiency expert. And PP checker. We'll stop using link moves and stuff. Sure. Dedicated traveler. Let's look at that. But I'm going to focus on traveling. It will use moves and items less often. Awesome. Nah. Maybe I could have Terry become that. Well, let's go get rid of that, at the very least, for the main fighters. There we go. Kill the tree. Murder the tree. You ever see a tree walk up to you and put you to sleep so you sleep under it? That's basically what happened. It basically said, you don't get a choice in whether or not you sleep under this tree. This tree will make you sleep under it. Congratulations. <laughs> you you healed, like, two damage. Hello, Minen. Scyther was successfully escorted. Scyther is delighted. Thank you. And then they just leave. Because nothing makes sense anymore. You could have just had me. Frickin' go and bring your friend back, but no, you're like, I want to go into the dungeon myself. And then nothing really changed all that much, except he made it so I couldn't recruit any Pokemon here. Nothing here. Impossible to go any further, you know, except for that hole up there, but we don't, we don't talk about the hole. It would be funny if something came out while you were leaving. Just to mock the player. <laughs> I got an... Oh yeah, I gave you an Orenberry. You're waiting down in danger for an Orenberry. And I got more rocks. And a power band! I'm gonna have to look for that, because if that increases normal type attack power... Mine. Thank you for escorting me to mining. And I got freaking 40 points?! Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. See you tomorrow. It's like the game paradoxically picks the options I'm not used to. And he's just standing out there, being creepy, waiting for the mail to steal the mail, commit a federal crime. What's in the mail? Somebody! Oh, uh, really? A cherry berry? But you also give something else, but we'll see. We'll see how many other sinister woods are available. Throw seeds! Seeds can be thrown, too. Seeds are usually meant to be eaten, but did you know? They can also be thrown at other Pokemon to unlock their effects. Toss seeds you don't want to eat at foes. Throw good seeds at friends. Don't be afraid to throw seeds. Recent natural disasters. Shit. Investigations underway into recent rash of natural disasters. Pokemon in affected areas attack any outsider without hesitation. Some believe a mysterious force is behind their behavior. One source claim blamed Diglett for triggering earthquakes, but the investigative team is skeptical. By the way, very hard was a mistake. It took the whole stream to beat the first level. I admire the dedication. I admire the dedication to go into Age of Calamity and go, I'm going to beat this on very hard from the beginning, and then just... Run with it. I, it is also partially terrifying. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's part of the reason why I didn't do very hard. Because all it really is, 
is the enemy do more damage to you. <laughs> and I'm not about that life. At all. <laughs> Moblin, I poke you, you die easy. <laughs> Basically. I am not about that life. And since we're gonna do another diddly D, I'll be... Go ahead and open up my thing a bit more. Probably should have also selected the Max Elixir so we can bring back lots of items. When I had to fight three, it was pure pain. <laughs> I can imagine. I wonder what level you're recommended to play levels at. Well, I'm gonna take that. But like, what level the game recommends you play levels on at uh, very hard, like... You should be, like, this many levels over the initial. Or does it actually tell you if you, like, put it on hard and then will it raise the recommended level? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I have a lot of money, what the fuck? Alright, let's see what places we can buy. Real estate! Fire Rod carried me. I can ex I can see that. that. That would definitely be the way to get you into using the rods in that game. Houndour, Decrepit Lab. You know what? I'm gonna be a bit silly. I'm gonna buy as many places as I can. Give me my money. Thank you, Persian, for taking care of my money. But I have a lot of things to buy. Hello, Wiggly Tough. I'm here to make a lot of friends. The most friends. All the friends in the world. I will have so many goddamn friends. Like, Facebook will look at me and go, what the fuck? Alright, now I need to be selective on this next one. Which is basically, which one has the most? Decrepit Lab. I kept switching strategies until eventually I won from using Impa as bait when she was low and killing them all with Link. That works. Gotcha. Let's do it. Wiggly tough. Wiggly tough. Let's be friends. You Congratulations. It's a decrepit lab. Why would you buy it? Who knows? Magical. And I have uh, $200 now. 200 pokey bucks. <laughs> Hundred pokey reviver seed. Ooh, lots of reviver seeds. And that gives gravel rock. That gives reviver seed. Person band. I'll take them all. I guess I'll. But that one sinister woods. Oh wait, what? Oh yeah. All the silent chasms. Sorry, tiny woods. I guess, let's see, what, do you, what would you give me? A silver gummy. Would be nice. But I don't think I have a hurl orb, so bye bye. And plus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, difficulty in Warriors games scare me. And then, yeah, this one's just like, yeah, I'll give you a cherry berry. What if I don't want a cherry berry? What if I wanted a soul? Typical 
Dark Souls protagonist. I guess I'm gonna go do Mount Steel. Dr. Steel, Dr. Steel. To Mount Steel! We go explore murder. Oh crap. Another person joined our team, so no more recruitment. Haha, <laughs> you did no damage. Too bad you can't join us because our client is here. Oh, well, Shane's gonna go on a murder spree. I probably shouldn't have brought Terry. Because he doesn't really... He isn't really going to contribute much. It was mostly just an item run. And right as I deleted the Hurl Orb... Cha the I want a Hurl Orb! Well, I haven't found one yet. Immediately finds a Hurl Orb. Ain't the world the cruelest bitch. That's what you get for being a normal type of zigzagoon. You're the normalest bitch in the world, and now you will die. Be gone, spinning top man. Go back to Power Rangers. Or Kamen Rider. Mount Steel, second floor. You know, the dick thing to do would be to go after my... Would have been to not use Harden, but to attack my client. And be like, I'm gonna make your client fake so you don't get any money. Mwahahahaha. I don't even know why Pokemon would be like, I want to hire you to escort me through dangerous territory. Why? There isn't anything to do up here. You just damnation and hell. But at the same same time, there really isn't a reason to not bring at least one party member because you know they can level up. Because experience is nice and not even distributed; it just exists. Everybody gets experience for watching enemies die. Groveling in the sand, begging for mercy for which there is none for them. No mercy. You have entered into my path, and therefore shall die. I forgot, I don't have any rocks. <laughs> I can't pelt my enemies with rocks until they die. The world is cruel and unusual. For they don't let me be cruel and unusual. And up we go, further up the mountain. Why is it called Mount Steel? That implies that Pokemon have learned how to make steel. Do Hone Edge or like, I want to reforge myself into a steel. A steel sword. It's what's in fashion right now. Do the Aaron eat the steel? Nobody knows. Least of all you. Most of all me. Murder the foes. Murder the foes. Orenberry. Just grab items. Grab items and run. We're stealing from the Mount Steel department store. No one can stop me. Money. Money. The most powerful item in the world. <laughs> now that makes me think... <laughs> Imagine if it was like a 
a fantasy, a medieval fantasy story, and everyone is looking for this legendary treasure that is said to be the most powerful thing in the world, and people are just fighting and killing each other over this mythical thing, this treasure that nobody knows what it is, and then at the end of the story, it's discovered to just be a, like, a check for, like, a million dollars of the world. And for, like, all of this just for money? Why? Because money is the most powerful thing in the world. <laughs> and of course, it's just a giant hallway. Why would it not be a giant hallway? Every video game has at least one giant hallway. Like Cooking Mama. Gotta cook again. The ultimate hallway of doom. It's the gauntlet of cooking. You are now safe, Zigzagoon. <laughs> I wonder if some of these Pokemon that we save in these places, if they're just like, ah, man, the neighborhood has gone to hell. I need to escape. We're just a glorified taxi service. You know what I mean? Why else would they be down here? Maybe they... Well, at the same time, not really. I was going to say, maybe they were just here when the disaster hit and all the Pokemon got agitated evil. But no, that doesn't really explain it, because... Okay, that one just spawned in. That, that one just spawned in. What the hell? <laughs> it didn't even come from a place. It's just, I exist now. You ever just see someone pop into existence? But as I was saying, I was going to say... Oh, maybe the Pokemon were just out and about when the disaster struck and all the other Pokemon became agitated, but that's not true. Because... Unless this place is just horrifically big, we probably would have run into them last time we were here. Or the many other times, so... Pokemon are still coming to these places, these mystery dungeons of horrific natural disaster doom, and going, Ah, oh, man, I'm... I, I'm, I'm uh, Help me. And now we have to save them from their own stupidity. I save you, Beldum. Get out of here. How do you talk? You don't have a mouth. You're just an eyeball on a leg. It just makes no sense. Time to kill Aaron. Because it exists here. You used Harden. I use gun. And hey look, it's the thing we just saved. Now we have to kill it. Six 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 six. Don't worry, it's just pairs of two sixes, so it's not evil. A D a Geo dude and a pincer, huh? I think we killed another rescue team. Yeah, Terry is just becoming a tank. Just a tank. He'll be able to take all the damage. Shane has gone to murdering again. Kill it, it doesn't have that much health. Kill! We can't leave. Leave the client alone and Shane has gone on an adventure of death. Okay. Now it's up to me to save the client. Shane's bloodlust. It was not yet sated. I'm sure that nothing here really will pose a threat to him. If anything, this will just give more experience for everyone.
Although it does mean that we have to flash back to Shane murdering people. <laughs> ah, I'll rescue you. I said... <laughs> there we go. It has to be two Pokemon away. <laughs> uh, there's probably not much left to the dungeon, so let's continue adventuring, picking up items. Come on, Terry. <laughs> Our friend has abandoned us. Shane left to pursue his career in assassination. And then we go to the next floor, and we're all magically together. Who knows? Maybe we'll, he'll want to join us, because now we have room on our team. Nope. It just wanted to die. Relatable. But now we shall eat an apple, so we don't die. Hello, Tyrogue. Would you like to join the team? One-shotting them to death just isn't earning their respect. I wonder why that is. It just makes no sense. If you one-shot somebody, surely they'd want to be your friend. It's only logical. I mean, that's how most anime people get friends. They walk up to their foe, absolutely obliterate them. We can go no further. We shall head back. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's your reward. Rocks. And a reviver seed. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's your reward. A reviver seed. And Gravel Rock. Thank you for escorting. Here's your reward. Person Band. And 20 points. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Just to know, waking up every day, knowing violence is on the horizon. To know that Pokemon are there. And that you are their judge, their executioner, their damnation. <laughs> Clunk. Such an efficient ability. Sinister Woods. Game options. Read. Press. Change your option settings to suit your play style. Press B to open the menu, then choose Others and Game Options. You can change settings to suit the way you play. Store. The benefits of using moves. If anybody got this far into the game without using moves, props to you, you'd probably be dead. If a move is used on a foe, when it is a defeated, you earn more experience points. A move only has to be used once on the foe. It doesn't need to kill. Ah. After that, it can be defeated using a regular attack to earn more experience points. Moves are also more likely to become critical hits. Don't overuse them, though. Don't overuse them, though. I'm gonna go and sort out my inventory. Pearl Orb. I forgot to put on the the power band. I am a failure! Throw myself off the Eiffel Tower. Basically just put my entire inventory in there. We'll want to... Uh, I will take three apples with me. I wish I could de designate how many apples I want to take, but now I have to do it one at a time. Ah! 
And then I would like to take 40 rocks with me. 40 rocks from the sun. Let's see. Orbs, orbs, orbs. Orbs, 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 orbs. Person band. Info. Ah, just prevents confusion. A time to put on that thing that I thought I put on. I can't. Alright, I'll go to me. Give me the power band. I thought I put it on, but I didn't. I'm a failure. And then, pick a scarf can go away. Woot woot. Do 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 do. I don't know. Escape, escape, scatter and warp. Apple, apple, apple. Big apple, but we don't need that. Go ahead and put away my money, just in case we lose it all. Dang it. I really need to increase my pokey bank account so I can buy even more property in this world of Monopoly. Okay, five billion frickin' sinister woods. In fact, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have three silent. Screw it. All right, D sorry. Thunderwave cave people. We have a fool sinister woods team to do. Please take me with you. And one apple wanted. So we're gonna have two bloody diddly dudes coming with us. So I don't think we can bring an ally. Wait, what? Did I mess up my thing? Tiny Woods. Ah. I'll suspend you for now. And Silent Chasm. Ah, I thought Silent Chasm was Sinister Woods, so I'm super dumb. It began with an S, and in my, uh, my brain, uh, it auto-completed. I'm the super dumb. Oh, well, about the Sinister Woods. To clear out our inventory. I probably should have brought it. Eh, well, we can try and get a recruit in here. Oh, this wasn't even one where. Wasn't even one where. We had an escort. We must hunt down that Oddish. Because it exists. Fine, the artist has gotten away. I shall smack you in the face. Where did that swinab come from? It's come to murder me! You have sealed your fate, little oddish. Too bad for you. I don't recruit oddishes anymore. I already got Sweetums. I forget where I got Sweetums, but I got him. Mwahaha! <laughs> Apple. It is vital for exploration, because you can only eat apples in this world. And seeds. But mostly apple. Apple. Hey, apple. Apple. I'm also surprised there... Is there a Pokemon that looks like an apple? There has to be. And don't say Voltorb. Voltorb does not look like an apple. Maybe a horribly disfigured apple. 
But even then... How dare you pound me! I pound you back! Be gone! Efficient murder! Efficient murder! And the Sudowoodos are just standing here, waiting for people to come near so they can throw rocks at you. Because they're mean. And now wants to join my team. And I know just the name for you. It's an old name. A name from ages past. You will take on the mantle of Brock. Come along, Brock. You are the new minion. Oh, how dare you hit me? Come on, Sudo Widow, throw rocks over everybody. I can take it. Whoop, whoop. How dare you hit me, Oddish? I'm here to murder you. And more Sudo Widow rock throwing. Once again, I don't know why a rock Pokemon looks so much like a tree. It just makes no sense. <laughs> I leveled up, and that's no lie. But why should we trust you? You look like a tree. And everyone knows you don't trust trees. Never trust the trees. They're just looking for a way, a time, in which they can fall on you and make you scream. That is all the trees desire. Your screams. You know the saying, if a tree falls in the woods, when no one's around, doesn't make a sound. Well, if the trees come and murder you, and you scream, when there's no one else around, do you make a sound? I don't think so. And now Brock is being power leveled up. Good for Brock. Money, money. We need all the money in the world so that we can buy all the real estate around Pokemon Square. If we own all the real estate, no one else will. And that's the point, Billy. Hey, another a free Orenberry just sitting there. Where did the stairs go? Nobody knows. We don't question it. Because you know... Pokemon rescue teams only look forward, so we never know where the stairs go. It's actually quite troubling, but it's in the rules. Die, Cascoon. You now die. And now we're getting hungry. Oh no. But we only eat food when we are desperately hungry. Yeah, and you're just leveling up immensely. I wonder if you'll even if it's even worth it, my man. Kill the sunflower. Once the sunflower is dead, so will the sun be. And we will never have to worry about grass types again. Why <laughs> Yay. That has to be a plot of something. The plants are evil. We must destroy the sun. That has to be the plot of something. I refuse to believe that that's not the plot of something. Some madman has had to have the mad thought kill the sun because plants. The sun must die because plants are mean. The plants aren't paying their plant tax. So therefore the plants must die. It's the only logical conclusion. Well, that's just mean. I have a rock. It's not gonna save you, you know, Sunflower. It won't save you at all. Whoop! Ah, 
I love the music. Even though this one is kind of a bit repetitive with the bum 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 over and over and over again. But eh, uh, what can you do? The best kind of songs drill into your head. The absolute McBestest in the world. You'll give me that gummy, or you will die. You are just power leveling up. And despite being a rock type, you don't have that much health. Well, compared to Terry. But it is Terry. Is it wrong to judge other Pokemon by the standards of Terry? I say yes. Well, no. I say no, because Terry is a standard to uh, aspire to be. If you do not want to be like Terry, then you do not want to be alive. Oh, hey, somebody else <laughs> leveled up. Growl. It lowers attack. Alright, boost the attack and special attack of team members in the same room by one level. Mm. And I don't really want to add it to the thing. If I wanted to, I could probably add sand attack to the link. Yeah, I'll get rid of growl. I can always remember it later. That's a nice thing. This game has the frickin' move rememberer right at the beginning. Alright. Pursuit. The user gains the counter status. Any damage from physical attack moves or regular attack is partially returned. The Pokemon counters any physical attack. inflicts uh, some damage took from the foe. If the Pokemon faints, it cannot hit back. This condition lasts a set amount of turns. Ah. In fact, I think maybe Leer, because I already have Tail Whip. You did it. Leveled up. Now you learned a dark move, so you can be a, a cruel business man. The cruelest business man. I was gonna ask where you came from, but there was a sideways. It's raining sideways! Or see to the rest of the world by murdering you. Hell. Kill. Devour the souls of the innocent, but they're not really that innocent if they have to die. I shall throw a rock. Ooh. Oh. It was too far away. I can't throw that far, Shane. Now I wonder if people have tried to play baseball with rocks. I mean, they had to have, right? People are stupid. There are a vast many amount of stupid people in the world. Some of them had to have had the thought, baseball with rocks, and thought it was a good idea. I didn't even have it as an idea. It's just like, hmm, that would be painful. Somebody had to have done it. Sure, you can join. But what shall you be named? I don't know why it came to me, but I have a name for you now. You shall be called... Mario. I don't know why, but you are now Mario. I like where it's dark and damp. You stay away from me. I say as we immediately end up on the same side again. You can try and survive, but... Alright, uh, you can try to survive, but you will die. Kill. And that shroomish was looking at our shroomish and going, Man, that could have been me. I could have been that shroomish, now named Mario. 
but I don't get to be. I did not get recruited. And another level for you, Jesus Christ, you're just super leveling up, my dude. A never-ending deluge of levels. Goodbye, Sunflora. But hey, we got two recruits to add to everything. Onwards we go. And this is a big room. Hello, Lady Ba. Lady Ba. Why are you called Lady? Lady Ba. Money, money, money. Money makes the real estate industry turn round. Money, money, money. Who needs to save Pokemon when you can just make money? <coughs> Ooh, nice. That's my level up. My poison powders turn more toxic. And yet all your things are level one. I think you are a, a lowly Pokemon. Mario. And then Lanoon died. Nobody knows how it happened. Nobody questioned it. But Lanoon did die. Ah, destination floor. At long last. In fact, with a thing that's coming up. Uh, doop -doop. There we go. And then we can link Sand Attack. So it'll be Sand Attack and Diddly D, so they'll miss more and we'll do more damage. Uh, oh. That's extra rude. Kill! Kill! Murder him already. He paralyzed us for long enough. Then the army has just come in to attack the world. Rock. Congratulations, you healed one health. You utter failure of a mushroom. Rock. Another level up for Brock Man. And a level up for Mario. Will you get more than ones this time? Nope. You have terrible stats, my dude. Terrible, terrible stats. Or maybe he had such amazing stats that now it has to nerf him so that he doesn't become overpowered. Probably not. It's probably just him getting terrible rolls on his stats. Or maybe the game is just like, Shroomer sucks. It only gets one point per thing. That's going to take forever. I'm going to throw a rock at you, Mushroom Man. I'm going to throw a rock at you. Well, nope, there was nothing that way anyway. Hmm. This seems like a lowly floor. And then everyone meets up again. It was destiny. We should never have left this room. 
Ah, another destination. Flower. Getting dizzy from hunger. I must eat an apple now. If I don't eat an apple, I will die. I forget what thing that was, like what comic book opening that was. If I don't do this, I will die. I would not like to leave. I would like to continue my adventure. Hello, Linoon. You will die now. From concussion. Just used too many headbutts. Too many headbutts and you died. But I'm still alive. No, you're not. Shut up. Alright, I have a rock. We have enough orin berries that we can survive. I'm sure. Mainly in storage. Goodbye, Caesar. Scyther. Well, no more using those moves, I guess. Luckily, we're only two away. If only we had a PowerPoint up. PowerPoint up would be a very handy thing. Well, that's not very nice at all. Money! Hello, Scyther. You might leer at me, but I am not afraid of you. You're so pathetic, even Mario has grown in power from your defeat. Dear God, it's just... Just ones. Ones and ones and ones and ones. Kill! We came to a dead end. Doom has come. Insert, like, what is that? Ah, uh, Doom Division. Get out of the way, Scyther. Your quick attack is pitiful. Your leer means nothing to me. And here is our escape vessel. A destination floor. The destinationist of destination floors. Destination Florence. Oh. That's kind of stupid. Maybe because some attacks can go through. I thought that was an ally. Now the team is breaking up. The confusion is too great. Oh, aye. Aye, aye, aye. I swear. You're gonna use up our fucking revive, you asshole. You are being immediately set on. Just get away. Run away from enemies from now on. And now... Fucking never leave again. It's kind of stupid. It Tactics. Stick together. His tactic. Leave. Disappear into nothingness. You are a silly, silly mushroom. And you wasted one of our reviver seeds. I'm being smacked up by a mushroom and I don't like it. I do not care for it. Oh, hey, I thought you might have been an enemy. I save you. Get out of here, Gloom. Dangers abound. I would like to stay. 
I forget how many missions we... Oh. For a moment, I feared. I will go ahead and eat an apple. Apple. You are an aggravating little bean, aren't you, Executor? Oh yeah, because he's confused. Well, that's just annoying. <laughs> no damage. No damage. No damage. And then they finally killed it. Congratulations, Shane. Also kind of funny that we only ever see what's going on over there when somebody gets into... Into war. Into battle. Wow, aren't you a bastard? How dare I miss? It's a mushroom. Crush the mushroom. Bake the mushroom into drugs. This is a very windy area. Apple. What am I gonna throw? Raspberry. Because there's an apple. You fucking shroomish! Why? You fucking idiot! Why were you leaving? You dumbass! You utter piece of garbage shroomish. The dark just messes with people in this fucking game, I guess. Okay, that's stupid. How dare you go across the, the corners of the reality? And of course, the exit is like in that bottom left-hand corner, the one place that we didn't go. I shudder to imagine the timeline in which we got this level. This designation on our first journey here. That would have been a nightmare. Does that mean that Shroomish was gonna throw a fucking blast seed at me? I think that means that Shroomish was gonna throw a fucking blast seed at me and blow me up, and I do not appreciate that. Mario, you are a horrible sh little Shroomish. You are horrible, you are terrible. The world is worse off that you exist in it. You are never coming on an adventure with us again. Never ever. You wasted a reviver seed, that is your major sin. sin of wasting a beloved item. You are to be sacrificed to Zapdos. Except you're not even worth bringing along to be sacrificed. That would take time and effort. I'm sure that we can get to the exit. Die. Oh. I hate you! Help! I've been hypnotized to sleep death. And Brock is almost caught up to us in level. Uh oh. I was going to be very annoyed. It's just like you were right next to me. Why'd you leave? Uh, you went to murder. Uh, fair enough. Quit! Enemies! Stop! For the love of God! Enemies just keep coming up behind us to lure away my man! My dude! Hideous little monsters. 
It is impossible to go any further, despite the fact there is a clear path up ahead, so we shall leave. With two new recruits that are, like, super leveled up. Thank you for getting me an apple. Here's your reward. Just over overpaid for an apple. Ooh, black gummy. Probably for the dark types. And a cherry berry. And another special band. And a P.E.K.K.A. scarf. I'll probably go sell those, because I don't really have much use for them, I think. But a Max Elixir. Max Elixir is very nice. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. And I'm going to self-hydrate. Remember, hydration is important. I got a decent amount of money. What came in the mail today? Honestly, I'm surprised that Gengar and Team Beanies haven't come to assassinate me in my sleep. You'd think they'd have done it by now, but they haven't. Uh, Sinister Woods. Let's read. Wonder Tiles, reset attack and defense. If your attack is lowered by a foe's growl, or your defense is lowered by a foe's tail whip. For example, the affected stat can be reset to normal by stepping on a Wonder Tile, or going to the next floor. Beware, enhanced stance are also reset to normal. Mysterious Dungeons. If you are a rescue team is defeated in a dungeon, you lose several items and all the money you are carrying. Beware of that, what you're carrying before you go off on a mission or an outing. Use Kengiskan storage to keep invaluable items safely stored. Once again, you need to inform us of when you are. Okay, I'm definitely accepting you because that's like super duper good. Plain seed. Switch or more and do do. <coughs> do 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 do. Take all my items, my mountains of items. And now we need uh, two revives to be taken out because somebody. Actually, I'll take out. Some of these to sell. Where's Reviver Seed? And another Reviver Seed. And just in case, Max Elixir. Because I think we're gonna go, 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 go do the story, yo. What do you have to sell, my boy? A lot of things, but I don't really care about those moves. Pekka's, you know, I can't sell multiple. Yeah, I'll sell the Pekka scarves because I don't really care all that much. Low be the day that I will run into a poison effect that hits me and fear takes over my soul. And a special band because I'm not using special attacks. And that'll be it. Thank you, my dude. Do, 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 do. I'll go ahead and take out everything. And then we might be able to finish up this section of the Wiggly Tough Club land resource grab. Magnetic quarry. Ravaged Field. And Peanut Swamp. I got just enough money from all that to get all the friend locations currently available. 
Oops. Oh, too bad. I'm fresh out of friend areas. Thank you. Come again. We're all friends, friend. Huzzah. And what? I have, uh... One sinister, two silent. Go ahead and accept... Those two. And off we will go now. Let's see. Items to revive. Three apples, two Oran, and a max elixir. And since we're going to go fight... All things considered, I'm gonna bring Brock. Mainly because he's a rock type. So he should do wonderfully against Zapdos. Leveling up did us good. Now let's go. Mount Thunder! Those trees look horrid. And this is the foot of Mount Thunder. I wonder, is Alakazam's team already on their way? Zapdos. It sounds very tough. <laughs> I'm shaking. I can't be scared now. Our objective is simple. We're rescuing Shift Tree. Neon, let's try our best. Mount Thunder. Ah, a man trick. Kill. Ow! Alright, that's not good at all. I love the music, though. It, it, it exudes a certain feeling from, like, a certain game or something. Whoop. Well, that's not nice at all. Friggin' touch effects. And I don't have any poison cures. I said it, didn't I? That I was going to regret getting rid of a Pekka Scarf. I hope the poison, like, wears itself out. Eventually. But I don't think it will. Wait. I think Pekka Berry. What do you, what do you cure? Info. Poisoned or badly poisoned. Give to Shane. Huzzah. And now we just need to be careful. When we see that pink abomination, we need to be careful. Hello, Kecnia. Hopefully you don't have any contact things. God damn it. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Super sad that doesn't cure. Super sad it doesn't cure. But okay. Yo, dude, fuck you. Gotta make sure that you die. And take an orange berry. Also kind of aggravating. Weedle wants to join. Uh, no, you're pretty weak. And I can't have- I can't babysit you for the rest of Mount Thunder. Die. Oh, hey! Going to the next floor cures you! Good. Note to self, going to the next floor cures your status effects, even poison. That is good to know.
That is godly to know. I probably shouldn't have taught you Pursuit, all things considered. And I forgot to have Diddly D. Forgot to have Diddly D. Uh, what is the word? Sand attack. Added on to my link of abilities. I forgot to do that. <gasps> A TM for secret power? That's rare. I haven't seen a TM in my playthrough yet. This is the first one. Teach us to move secret power. It inflicts damage on the target. It may also trigger other effects depending on the terrain. Honestly, I think I'll sell it depending on how much it sells for. You're a poisoner, so I'm going to go ahead and annihilate you. And see, this is why I like to explore, even if we already find the the exit. And that's also the reason why I didn't bring frickin' Weedle along. They are just too weak, and it would waste my... my abilities. Well, not abilities, but would waste my Reviver Seeds. Very rude, you know? Your sand attack missed, and yet I still missed my attack. Kill. 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 Well, at the same time, we're nearing the exit anyway, but meh meh meh. Lol. Since we're surrounded by enemies, we need to kill enemies quickly. Yeah, kill! Kill quick, kill fast. And that replaces the orange berry I used on my... Uh, did I use one on myself? Uh, yeah, I used one on myself. Shane uh, healed with a P.E.K.K.A. Not P.E.K.K.A. Was it P.E.K.K.A.? God damn it. Kill! You look like a Zergling. From certain angles. Dang it. I meant to throw a rock. Yeah, this is going to be a bit interesting because we're going to go fight a legendary. Yet another reason why I didn't bring Weedle along. Honestly, it feels like they put Weedle in this map just as another way to frickin' poison you. How much move do I have left? I do also have the Max Elixir, so it's not that big a deal. Oh, you didn't even go for the super effective. You're a jerk. That's a ton of pokey. Love the music. Some of the instruments used kind of remind me of Undertale. But it kind of makes sense because Undertale used, at least to some capacity, the Earthbound synths, I think? It's hard. Factoids are hard to line up sometimes. But the music was definitely inspired by Earthbound and Undertale to some degree. Well, luckily we don't have to worry too much, because the exit's right here. And of course, the moment that we discover that, oh yeah, poison is covered under status effects that are wiped away once you go to the next floor. 
once we discover that. The game is like, okay, fine, you won't be poisoned anymore. Though I could see poison being detrimental in long runs, in, a, in long dungeons. Long run dungeon. What is with your evasion, my dude? I have become paralyzed. Help! I am paralyzed. How dare you! I kill you now! Level up time! HP up went a lot. Everything else was kind of meh. HP up went a lot. Everything else was kind of meh. We are basically mirrored in our stat growth. Kill. And we're not throwing Brock at the enemy as much just because I don't need a rogue, a loose cannon going after enemies. I just love the music in this game. Love the music. It just has a nice feel to it. I love it. He is unaffected by the sand of fear. The sand of the pocket sand cannot hurt the boy. On to the next floor. I wonder how many floors this place has. Crap, it's an Electabuzz. Rock! Punch! We must journey through the tunnels. Leer at me all you want. You cannot hurt me. So, every now and then, my mind is just like, did we actually bring the right amount of... freaking uh, reviver seeds? And my brain's like, yeah, of course we did. Will you kindly stop hitting the rock man? Electabuzz stepped on an apple. How rude. Quit stepping on an apple. Oh, hey, a gummy. Gray gummy? That's probably for steel types. Oh, what about silver, though? Silver gummies exist. Rock. Paunch, I missed. Paunch again. Yeah, that wasn't a roundabout. It actually led somewhere. Ah, Blast Seed. You can keep it. I don't really care about Blast Seeds. Move in. Punch the Ampharos to death. Beat him up! Level up for Brock. Ah, just a blast seed, not a reviver seed. <laughs> At least it's not one of those fake reviver seeds. Oh crap. Uh, we even need to kill him. The last one came dangerously close to killing the boy. <laughs> but that reminds me. Hello, Stantler. What are you doing here? So much missing. <gasps> it's 
like, whenever it does something like that, that makes me think that there's an item out there that the game doesn't want me to have. I'm gonna have that item. I think I found it. It was this rock. It's a very important rock. This rock, and I didn't get that one apple. The one apple that Electabuzz kept stepping on. Hello, Electabuzz. Mind dropping an apple? Whoop. I got thunder punched in the butt. I don't like it. Go 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 gold ribbon. Yo, bitch face. Give me that gold ribbon. Huh? And you want to join, huh? Hmm. We'll take you on. Uh huh. What will your name be? Don't know why, it came to me in a moment. Your name is Dutch. What is a gold ribbon? Info! An item that has no effect even if it is held by a Pokemon, it can be sold for a good price. Okay. That's kind of funny. Well, I shall take it. Hello, McScary Man. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. You can leer all you want. Well, actually... Because we can't go... Orenberry, so we can heal up mid-battle if we need to. Let me take a look at my moves. I still have a decent amount before I need to use my Max Elixir. Ah, you survived. How surprising. Get out of here, Gligar. We already have our Gligar teammate. How dare you throw sand in my eyes. Even with sand in my eyes, I see perfectly! Leer all you want. I do not fear you! Oh crap. Thank you for killing? I think I'm gonna... There we go. Yes, yes, I know. Getting hungry. Move on. I, for I just remembered that you can press B and hold A to quickly heal up. I regret teaching you Pursuit. I really do. <gasps> Another Max Elixir! The game is kind. And more rocks! The game is arming me. You ever just see a game? Well, we better make the best of this, because this is our last apple. Hmm. I shall take that as a sign to move forward. And... Ha. Huh. Well... Time to use up a bunch of moves, cause... We... I have, uh, max elixirs. How much did I regain? All of them. All of them! Get out of here, leveled up boy. The oh, hell.
place is all tunnel. Dang it. Alright, once again, I forgot to uh, hit the right button for rock throw. Except it's not actually the move rock throw, it's just me throwing a rock. Which you think would be rock throw, but... Classifications. The Pokemon move... Uh, author of authentication company. And let's kill this uh, Growlithe so that it's just like in our... Like, oh yeah, we fought a Growlithe. Hey, give me rocks. Boop, boop. Yeah, time for you to die. Out of the... Ah, shit. I said, time for you to die. Out of the way. That's a lot of pokey. Rock. Rock. Ah, hell. And I'll smack you down. Ah, shit. We're running low on hell. Oh, no. We need to find exit now. We need to find the exit now because we do not have any apples. That is very bad. Uh, please don't. I know, I know. Apple! Perfect timing. That was close. That was close! Extra stupid that you can hit me around a corner of sand attack, but I can't hit you with a physical attack. Fuck off. Kill him. I have rocks. Screw you. Why did I ever teach you that move? We are move remembering as quickly as possible. I thank diddly D that we got an apple when we did. It just would have been sucked to have come all this way, only to have lack of apples be what do us in. Onwards we go. Oh, oh, maybe this is, either this is a, you're halfway through, or it's a, hey, boss battle ahead. I would like to go on. It is option one. The fact that we couldn't access our inventory for more apples is saddening. Kill. Yay. Brock leveled up and that's no lie. And an interesting musical change too. I wonder if that... No, it did not seem to restore. Apple? Nope, it is a gummy. Gray gummy. Eh, 
Hey, money at least. The tolling bells is a bit ominous, I will admit. It's like the Undertaker is Zapdos waiting for me at the top. How dare you hit me? I throw a rock at you. Please don't. I need the boy. Get out of here. Damn it. Let's see. Gray gummy. You're the normal gummy, right? Brock type. Ooh. Give to Brock. Brock had an example this whole time! <laughs> Brock had an apple this whole time. Brock had an apple this whole time. <laughs> well, at least we have another apple. So we can explore a bit more than I otherwise would have felt comfortable. Hey, Dutch, you leveled up. And he learned Harden. There's me leveling up. I've got lots of soaring to do. HP went up a l Okay, you get great stats, apparently. Gliger is an awesome teammate. Unlike Mario. Always watching, Mario. Oh, <laughs> Is the Monsters, Inc. always watching Monster Lady, except it's Toad. ALWAYS WATCHING, MARIO! ALWAYS WATCHING. Haha, <laughs> your lightning missed. Wait, is Gliger a ground type? You can earn your way through the Pebble Rock Forest. But lo, you have died. Uh-oh. Here we are at the, the top. This is the summit. Hey, Zapdos, where are you? We came to rescue Shift Tree. Come out! Wah! I warned you! I have no mercy for meddlers! Not scared. You don't frighten me. Hey, Zapdos! Release Shift Tree! We're a Pokemon rescue team! You must be determined to utter such words. Then you shall answer to my great and righteous fury! Uh, Dutch, I'm going to ask you to get away. Brock. Go after the foe. That's not good at all. That was a miss, goddammit. Gonna go ahead, eat an Ornberry. Ow. I shall use... Sand Attack! Ah, shit. Attack again! Lol. And now I shall eat another Orin Berry. If I can survive and not waste any of my diddly dees, I'll be super happy. Yay! My Reviver Seeds remain unchanneled. We beat up a legendary Pokemon! 
Woot woot. I just ordered Gliger to leave because I thought he was a ground type, and I forget how ground type. I think <laughs> if it had any kind of like peck or anything, I feared. Ground would have been, and then ground doesn't affect flying anyway. What? What is going on? You want more? I'll take you on! Enough! That's enough fighting. I've calmed down. Take Shift Tree back. You kids, you've impressed me. But things won't be this easy next time. I will go all out next time, so you'd best be prepared. Until then, you'd better hone your skills. <laughs> Magical teleporting shift tree corpse. Look, there's shift tree. Are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah, somehow I am. I'm glad you're safe. But that was an eye-opener, driving off that Zapdos. I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain Eevee. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps you aren't a Pokemon, are you? Wow, how can you tell? But you're right. Neon isn't a Pokemon. Neon is a human. What? A human? Is that possible? Can something like that happen? Neon doesn't understand very much either. Neon woke up one morning here as a Pokemon and doesn't remember anything about being a human. Oh, wait! Lombre said something in the square. He said Alakazam, Alakazam knows everything! Alakazam, could you figure out why Neon became a Pokemon? No, I can't determine that. Uh, I thought you would know. However, there is a way for unveiling the truth. Oh, really? How? Make way to the Hill of the Ancients. There you will find a Pokemon that stares into the sun all day. A Pokemon who is said to see into the future. Zatu is his name. He should shed light on your puzzling friend. Okay, so we should go see Zatu. Neon, let's go. Off to the Hill of the Ancients. We can't waste any time. Let's go back quick. Shiftry, you too. Let's hurry back. Uh, yeah. I guess we should. Neon! Don't just stand there, let's go home. Alkazam, I know you. I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. You know something, don't you? There is something that concerns me. But it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. I forget about that, of this part. What does Alakazam know? The next morning. We haven't had a creepy dream in a while. Even with story mission stuff. Water and apples, let's go! Neon, good morning! Yesterday I did some checking around. It turns out that the Hill of the Ancients is apparently in the Great Canyon. We should go there right away! Off to the Grand Canyon! Huh? What's the matter? Listen, Shane? Huh? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this is introspective in a way. Why are you so happy? Why? What do you- what do you- uh, what? You need to ask. This is character building for me. It's not for you. You said it. It's, it lets me try harder to do my best because it's not about me. We're friends, aren't we? I want to do my best because it's for you, Neon. That's what this is about. So as always, let's try our best to do well. And no... Oh, nope, no mail yet. 
We have uh, three Sinister Woods and two Silent Chasms. And a bunch of money. Thank you, Mrs. Kangaskhan. I'll put in the gravel rock so that we can even it out. Ah, dang it. I thought I could check the... Grey Gummy. Rock type. I'll put that away for now. Uh, Blast Seed, Ornberry, Blast Seed. Max Elixir, Max Elixir, Ornberry, Ornberry. And we'll have to take out some apples. At least, oh, at least one apple. I would like to take out some apples. Apple. And... 40 Gravel Rock. Thank you, Mrs. Kangaskhan. And let's go sell the things that we have. Welcome to Kesleon Wares. Let's see. What are you selling? Torment and things I don't care about. I shall sell you. Well, at that point, it's not really worth selling secret power. So yeah, we're gonna put secret power away. Maybe if maybe he I'll want to use it sometime, so we shall save it. Hell, maybe we'll, we'll get a mission. Can somebody bring me secret power? And they'll give me tons of money. I doubt it. It would be hilarious if there were rare bring me a TM missions. Zatu? I wouldn't know. There's really a Pokemon named that? I must say I'm very impressed. Your team is surprisingly courageous. It casts you in a new light. I'm glad that Shift Tree is safe. Neon, your team is fantastic. It's shocking to hear that you've beaten Zapdos. He tried to save face. Yay, Matapod, what do we do next? Let's play battle. Okay, I use String Shot, then I use Harden. <laughs> ah, the wonders of childhood. Any new places? Oops, we can't add any new friends. No new friends for you. Don't know what? My job's on the bill tomorrow. You can go assemble the rescues at the time, did you know that? Yep. I'll be around any new. That's okay, then. Uh, any silent chasm? Nope, just uh, one Mount Thunder, two Mount Steels. I guess... You want a freaking Max Elixir? It's rated E. Rated E for everyone. Hmm. There's two Mount Steels. Berry, Gravel Rock. I guess I'll take this Escort. And uh, a TM. Well, that actually makes it simple for me. Uh, I will... put away all my money. I'd like to store my shit ton of money, please. Thank you. Thank you, Persian. And 
let's go look at job list. Honestly, I'll do this Tiny Woods job. That way we can just, it's a D rank, we'll get it out of the way. And plus it's freaking Tiny Woods, so it'll be go, it'll go by super quickly. Why are you using Pursuit so much? In fact, I'm just going to switch off Pursuit so you stop spamming it so much. I love the music. This is like one of, this is like a perfect first dungeon music. Hey, Wormple. I don't know if I've run into you yet. I forgot how, like, few rooms there are in the first dungeon. Man, it feels like just like yesterday that we were just in here actually having to kind of try because we were like level 5. We have escorted you to your friend and now you leave. Eh, uh, let's finish this up. I would not like to leave. I would like to continue my adventure. Hello, Wemple. Goodbye, Wemple. At least in this game, it's easy to level up low-level Pokemon members of your team. You just take one member of your team who is low-level, make sure that they're never in danger, and beat up a bunch of Pokemon. Die, Pidgey. We're just too high a level. You dare come at me, seed boy? The seed boy shall die. Two rooms in a circuit. Thank you for escorting me to Teddy Ursa. Here's your reward, the promised grass gummy. And gravel rock. And frickin' 20 points for doing tiny woods. That was so quick we could do another dungeon today. Shane, come back. <laughs> Shane, come back. And now we're at that point where I could probably just do a bunch of missions. Time for mail. Mail time, mail time, mail time. It's the mail. It's the mail. What's in the mail? Deliver one taunt? What the hell are you giving? A friend area. Take. Types and matchups. All Pokemon are of certain types, such as fire and water. In a battle, damage inflicted depends on how the Pokemon's type matches up with the Pokemon's type. Ah, uh, moves type. Ah, I said Pokemon twice because I'm a fool! <laughs> For example, a fire Pokemon type is weak to against water type moves. Exploit type matchups to win battles! Now we need to get a taunt TM. You know I was joking a bit when I said, lol, what if mission for, for diddly d and i don't i pray i beg to god because i think taunt was no rest was the tm okay i was actually he was like oh no one of the things was the diddly d when in actuality like I, for a moment i thought that taunt was a tm that was uh, a reward. Let's see. Help me find mine in. Peck a scarf plus. Save my child. Please help Lanoon. Grass gummy. 
the level one Pekka Berry for Max Elixir. Deliver one taunt, but I can't do that. I guess I could... Are there any that... Okay, can't do that one. I don't have any white gummies. Can't seem to get out. Just a hundred pokey. Max elixir. Grass gummy. 200 pokey. And a Pekascar plus, so... None of them are super immediate. So, let's see... I guess I'll go ahead and get the Sinister Woods out of the way, since there are three of them. And that'll open up my job list to do more missions. Which also means that I want to grab a third apple. Hello, Mrs. Kangaskhan. I want an extra apple for my new mission to the Sinister Woods. And I don't want to go hungry in a goddamn forest. Ain't Mrs. Kangaskhan the best? But who should we bring along? Maybe Dutch? Flying ground type, I think. Honestly, it's between Brock and Dutch. I think I'll bring Dutch, because he's been just on a roll. The fact that we haven't run into Team Meanies in a long time, even though most of the time we're just doing normal missions, it's still kind of, oh no. Don't die, Ratata. I don't need your death on my conscience. I don't need any death on my conscience, really. Well, speaking of, uh, team, Shane, oh, mm. I want to give Grass Gummy, oh wait, can I just throw it down his throat? Let's see if I can throw it down his throat. Throw. Went up significantly. There we go. When in doubt, throw down throat. When in doubt, throat throw. not to throw rocks in my salad, man. My dearly beloved salad boy. We must march on. Find fools to kill. You foul bastard. That's one of the reasons I carry a bunch of reviver seeds on me. Because sometimes Pokemon placement is kind of stupid. At least I have a decent stash of frickin' Reviva seeds, but still, seeing one wasted out of the blue, it hurts my soul. They cost 850 fucking Poke Dollars to get. Ah, it hurts so much. Well, hey, look at that. At this point, I am beginning to believe that... But I'm gonna eat it, because it's mine. Status checker. Let me take your, check your status. Hot as fuck. Orange gummy, I think, for fighting types? You have failed dramatically. Be gone, Satan. Hello, Swinub. You will die now.
another swinub to die. A swinub to die for. I punch you in the face. You tried to punch me in the face, but you don't have the face to punch faces with. That's because you're a failure. You're, f you're the face of fail. Kill the sunflower. <laughs> Shane just rocketing off at the speed of light somewhere else. No, don't see where our good friend Suda Widow is going. Run off to the other side of the galaxy instead. Murder the Swinub. It's kind of funny looking at it like this. Well, just imagine if this was like how fast actual Pokemon battles went go. Then again, for a lot of people, this probably is how fast actual Pokemon battles go. One use move. One one move used. Everyone dies. Not going to let you get near my client. They already got nuked once, and they're a freaking Radita. If they get hit once, they're just gonna fucking die. Because they're a freaking Radita at level one. The game doesn't even have the common courtesy to level up your clients to a decent point. Nope, it's just, yeah, if they get hit once, they're just gonna explode. Com they're going to spontaneously combust, and you're not getting your deposit back. Even though, really, the client should be paying the deposit. Just saying. But I really want a taunt. Now I'm gonna have to be on the lookout for a frickin' taunt TM. Either as a reward... ...or as anything. Just so that I can get a friend area by delivering it into a mystery dungeon. Why would you even want the taunt ATM in the middle of a mystery dungeon anyway? What did you do? What are you planning, you utter psychopath? A pink gummy. I don't think the fairy type exists in this game. God damn it, now I'm kind of sad. Because Eevee... Because I don't think the fairy type exists in Explorers of Sky. And uh, Eevee isn't a, a playable character in... Well, Eevee isn't a starter. Starter, hero, or partner po uh, Pokemon. I forgot to grab rocks. No, I did grab rocks. I just forgot to set them. But yeah. Eevee isn't a partner or hero Pokemon in Gates to Infinity or... Super Mystery Dungeon. I wonder if anybody's modded that. Eevee as a starter character. Well, it wouldn't work because Super Mystery Dungeon's entire gimmick is... Ooh, Mega Evolution, I believe. I think. But even then, there were some Pokemon that don't have Mega Evolutions, I think. And... That were starters, and their, their gimmick was just like, Ah, you become your final evolution when you use that, I think. I can't wait to get to the other Mystery Dungeon games. Experience them, like, truly. Because I only tried, like, the demo to Gates of Infinity. And even though I do have Super Mystery Dungeon, I haven't beaten it or gotten all that far. I don't know how far I went in. I think there might have been something about the gameplay loop that, like, it could have just been, like, the time that I played it. My mind wasn't in the, the mood for 
the Mystery Dungeon gameplay loop, maybe? I don't know. It's been five billion years. I'm trying to make my way through this dungeon, bro. Get out of here. yo ho yo ho yo ho Man onward we go. A destination floor! Kill the sun, Flora! Apple, and I shall go ahead and eat this apple. Om nom nom. Hello, Geodude. Now get out of here, you twosome. I will continue my adventure through this dungeon. With my 69 health. Nice. Goodbye, Lanoon. Death comes for you. You better not try to join. We're not accepting any shroomish anymore. We know about your kind. You are a failure bastard. Kill. Kill the sun, Flora. It only did one damage. <laughs> Then again, these are just basically crazed wild Pokemon. Wild Pokemon, not because they're Pokemon of the wild, but because they've been driven wild through madness. This is madness! Madness. I've never watched 300. It's apparently based off of a comic book. Which is kind of interesting. Not the type of thing you'd think that a comic book would be made about. Oh, a critical hit. Lol. We didn't even see it up close and personal. Oh. Uh, I have a ton of... Oh yeah, what is, what is you? Poison type. I throw the cherry berry because... Max elixir? So much more valuable. Nightmare. Nightmare. Kill the lady ball. <laughs> Not very effective. Absolutely murdered him anyway. It's like chiseling a cliff face with a spoon. It's like... And like making Mount Everest out of a spoon. That's like five different analogies right there, and they all make sense. Don't at me. It's not very effective, but it happened anyway. Eh. Come to me, my friend. Silence, Ledaba. You will now die for your transgressions against Rescue Team Shining. Throw a rock. You tried to hit me, but you missed, huh? You utter failure! See, that's what happens when you don't miss. I'll eat the plain seed. Ah, oh, it didn't raise my belly as much as I thought it would. And we'll oh, grab this berry. Let allies kill. Allies have killed, so we shall move on. You have chosen a poor place to stand. And now Brock has surpassed, almost is going to surpass us in level at this rate. Oh, 
Hello, Whooper. You are now rescue teamed. Utterly magical. Utterly radical. If you combined radical and magical, what do you get? I honestly don't know. Tragical? A green gummy. What's the difference between a grass gummy and a green gummy? Info. Bug type. Have at it. Sky gummy. Uh, we can probably give that to Glygor. You dare scratch at me? And I shouldn't use that again. Hello, Hoot Hoot. You will now die. And we shall adventure on. Wait. No, we got Whooper, yeah. My brain was just like, wait, wasn't there wasn't that supposed to be a diddly do level? And then I forgot that we got Whooper super early on in the level, so yeah, we already did it. Brain is dumb. <laughs> God is dead and brain is dumb. Kill the Hoot Hoot. It exists, but no longer. And a bug type Scyther boy. I wonder what happens if you throw a gummy at an... Oh, that would be awesome. What if there was, like, a... What if there was a mechanic where if you had the gummy type to a Pokemon that you're facing and you threw the gummy at them and they ate it, they would, like, instantly want to join your team. That would be interesting. <laughs> Have Mewtwo want to join your team with this one trick. Game Freak hates them. Destination Floor. Get out of here, Hoot Hoot. Owl. Just making sure that it's not a revive seed. Not an orb to be seen. We march ever onward through the sinister forest as we are juggernauts amongst these fragile creatures. I shall throw this back a berry. Woot. And if you think about it, leaving items behind kind of acts like an early alert system. If an enemy comes along and steps on the item or even picks it up, you'd be like, ah ha. Da da ha ha. Pork. I used Mimic on an enemy that didn't use an attack. However, could this have failed? Oh, hello, Teddy Ursa. You are now rescued. Get the hell out of here. No. Because I think this is, like, literally the final place to the... Oh, yeah, there's no further we can go. We might as well. Let's say that we came here again. How the hell did Metapod get this deep in this goddamn place? <laughs> Ooh, I had a 69. That's probably just my health, but still. And another sky coming. And 40 rescue points. Neat. So if you want, like, maximum points, you want to do res uh, escort quests. 
Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow. Sadly, no recruits because that ratata was stuck with us the entire way. And we are the EV. Good morning. Mail time, mail time, mail time. Pelipper mail service and giving you what you need. Whoop, whoop. Flinked moves entry level one. These are the recommended linked moves for beginners. Vine Whip plus Growl. Razor Leaf plus Growl. Trico. Leer plus Pound. <laughs> Leer Low Kick. Tail Whip. Bone Club. Ember Growl. Leer Tackle. Ember Growl. Tail Whip Tackle. So yeah, basically. Super simple. A Grey Gummy. Don't care, I think. Woot, 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 woot. I'll go ahead and fix up my inventory. So it's not disgusting. And we'll go check and see if there's a taunt in the TM shop today? Nope, it's hidden power. I already have hidden power. At least I can put away my monies. And I have even more to store in there. And I shall go check out... What other jobs? Well, first I have... Two Silent Chasms, and my impossible Mount Thunder, so we don't want to do any Mount Thunders. So Silent Chasms, Mount Steels, and Thunder Waves. Deliver one rest. What would you have given me? A Grey Gummy, so at the very least it's not a... super painful. <laughs> I'm sad and lonely. Well that's... I lost in a battle, help, but... Uh, Max Elixir. Hmm. Escort me! I do not know. <laughs> Deliver one rest, but I don't have rest, and you're... At the, more than likely. I don't even know. But honestly, uh, I think that'll do it for now. We've been going for over three hours, so I think that's a pretty good length. Ooh. But I love this game. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is super fun, super duper enjoyable. Just love experiences, experiencing this again. It's just so much fun. The music is great, the gameplay is nice, except for those times when you're escorting a level 1 Radita, and then it gets annihilated and wastes one of your beloved Reviver Seeds. Profound sadness. But anyways, that will do it for now. Next time, we'll probably try and do more. Not sure what tomorrow will be. Probably more Mystery Dungeon, because I want to do more grinding in Kingdom Hearts to prepare for the super bosses, and then I need to actually read up on how to do the super bosses, or like how to access them ahead of time, make sure that I have everything. One of them is actually get all of the Ansem reports, so that's going to be a bit bothersome. And the other ones are just kind of, uh, I think, like, oh, this is now available. So I don't know. I'll have to look in first level up more and look into how to actually access all the super bosses. Time will tell. In fact, I think you have to fight some of the other super bosses to actually get the other super boss. I don't know. It has been a billion years since I went and played through all of the super bosses of Kingdom Hearts, my final mix. But yeah, tomorrow we'll probably stream more. 
Blue Rescue Team, because I love this game. I love it. It's nice. It's chill. And I just, it's, a, it's a fun time. And when the going gets tough, you're like, oh god, maybe I'll die. Yeah, it's just like spice. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I have been Neon Icy Wings, and this has been Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. If you want more from me, I have uh, the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Wings, where I sometimes post edited content like once a decade. And if you want to catch up on archived streams that you might have missed, you can watch those on the YouTube channel, Neon Icy Games. And if you're already on Neon Icy Games watching one of these archived streams, then you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. If you want other things from me, such as drawings and art, I post on Twitter, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Tumblr. Uh, all of them Neon Icy Wings with the Tumblr, like Icy Wings Art Corner or something like that. I, I still don't remember what I call it because I never looked at the goddamn name. <laughs> but anyways... Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.